hey guys welcome back to our another video this is your preet again in this video guys we will talk about how to enable google adsense auto ads in our uh, blogger or in our wordpress blog if you already got the adsense approval after adsense approval you need to make some setting in your blog i will show you step by step some of the setting which really important uh, because uh, if we uh, upload the ad code on our blog, uh, it might uh, slow down your WordPress or blogger uh, website speed. But if you enable the auto ads, that uh, might be more helpful for you because Google has already this option. You can enable auto ads. Google will auto set ads on your blog for example depends on the space on your website front page like uh, you can see the logo here uh, left side at uh, the right side google will display here because uh, here uh, we have space here google will uh, identify uh, determine uh, find out the space in your front page and google will auto display the ads in that place okay so first of all to start uh, after adsense approval and uh, you will see your sites and uh, you have to go this option ads after visit this option ads option let me show you my website here this is my website here easyidea.com let me open easyidea.com website is here okay now here you will see the pencil icon here add it we have to click that pencil icon and google uh, will check your website the mobile layout and desktop layout uh, where possibility google can display ad it will show you live google will tell you the live here where google can display auto ad on your theme for example here uh, google has opened our mobile uh, layout in mobile google showing that uh, google will display a ad uh, somewhere here after the blogging section and uh, let's scroll down another space here in technology again the ad a lot of ads because we don't want to uh, uh, a lot of ad in our front page it might uh, slow down our uh, website okay so what we will do here uh, when we uh, enable auto ads first of all you have to enable this section auto ads you have to um, you have to enable it here after enable it you will see if google has find how many page ad how many uh, ads google can display in the mobile layout it's showing me six uh, in page ads here okay let's go through a step by step with the overlay format in overlay format we have anchor ad Anchor ad will display in the downside of a mobile layout or upper side here. This is called anchor ad. Okay. And side rail ad, um, it will uh, display the ad in the sidebar in the very small space. You can enable these. Okay. Anchor ad. I don't want uh, to enable uh, anchor ad that uh, this will and uh, my visitor my mobile visitor will not able to see the menu here because if i enable the anchor ad uh, all the upper area will be invisible so uh, people will not able to see the logo of website or menu section in the mobile layer so i will disable this anchor ad one more important thing here uh, you will see the third option full screen ad that appear between the page load um between the page load like this this is a between page uh, um, uh, between page ads okay all these are between page ads in page ad okay if you want to disable it turn off a visit ad on screen wider than 1000 pixel like desktop you don't want to show it in the desktop you can disable it overlay ads on wide screen wide screen means at the direct desktop screen okay you can uh, enable it it will help you a lot okay so next option we have in page format in page format we have multiplex ads for example uh, in the front page 
uh, somewhere Google show the multiple ads uh, uh, if Google find a great place on your theme somewhere in between Google might display uh, two ads here four ads depends on the on the space how much space you have in your theme what theme you using another thing here uh, ad load I can uh, maximize the ad load here depends if you are if you are comfortable with the to increase the uh, ad load it will ad load means it will uh, show more ads if you set on maximum it will show more ads on your front page if I reduce this and you will see uh, only two or three ads will be display six ads right now if I you can see only four ads left three ads left okay this is I because I have set minimum I want to set it a little nearby little bit maximum okay I have set this and one more thing here you have to enable this let Google optimize your existing ad unit I will recommend this uh, later on I will show you why I enable this okay so this is the section uh, another third section we have excluded areas for example let me go to the upper uh, the menu side and Google will display if you want to disable ad in specific area I don't want to show ad in the header I will exclude this I will uh, right click on the mouse and I want I don't want to any ad on the upper of my menu uh, of my logo or website and when I scroll down there are together many ads uh, upper ad and again add I want to disable it I want to single keep single ad in single section for example these two ads in the same time so I want to um, disable the one of these okay I want to give some space to display ads here I will exclude again in the finance section I will keep enable this ad in the downside I will exclude it same like technology I want uh, technology has already upper area ad and uh, somewhere it's uh, between I will disable it okay so this is how you can choose the area which area you want to display which area you are feeling comfortable to show ads on that specific area you can even choose the area you just have to exclude uh, by clicking the right with the mouse and scroll down you have to choose the area where you want to show your ad this is very simple guys let me go back now everything is done you have to click apply on site it will apply on your site okay and uh, let's go to desktop version you have to click this desktop icon and now it will show you the desktop how your website look like in desktop and uh, how ads will shown here for example auto ad example uh, Google has find out uh, the space here okay after the after the first paragraph and it will start showing in the sidebar we have again the ad that's okay uh, we have another ad because we just have ad in the sidebar I want to exclude it just to simply click this okay I exclude it and uh, I want to give some space I don't want to display rush of ads that could. I don't want to show all the ads in same um, little area I want to give some space to the ads like that okay again I want to disable it let me scroll down everything is good in the again footer we have a lot of showing the blue section it means Google might can display ads anytime in this section if you want to in uh, exclude this section you have to click uh, uh, with mouse it will become red and uh, Google will never display ad somewhere here this is how it is simple guys okay and now <clears throat> another thing here again we have overlay, uh, overlay format let me explain if I click this anchor ad it will start showing in the downside in the desktop or upper side you have to wait it will start showing
let me explain you about side rail ads side rail ads let me explain let me enable it side rail ads for example your theme has some space in the sidebar like uh, i have space in the in my uh, theme width is not full width is it's called box type box type theme if you have box type theme this is something like box theme it's not width up to complete screen so google will uh, display side rail ads here in the in the side section in the left and right you can have you can see the white space here in the, our theme google will display a uh, rail ad somewhere here okay uh, you can see the um, ads that stick to the side of the screen page is scrolled it google will stick ads somewhere here even you scroll the page the ads will be stick on the side okay and next uh, we have a visit ad again uh, this will uh, appear between the page load for example let me show you visit the ad example okay this is my website let me refresh it if i uh, click any article here let me click this article when you click article okay let me click again any article let me go back let me click this article when you click any article some sometime the ad start showing in the middle let me click any other ad the google will when you click any um, any article here example let me uh, go back and let me choose any article i will click this article when i click this you will immediately see the ad between here somewhere that call vision it ad means uh, you will uh, uh, viewers will see the ad upon click on article that call vision it ad okay so after everything set you have to uh, let let me show you in page ad again banner ads it will show appear within the main content of the page like this is called banner ad this is banner ad okay again we have a banner ads okay multiplex ads means uh, that uh, appear in the grid like four uh, this is called multiplex ad you can see four ads in that particular same width same area okay for ads is together that called multiplex ad again you have to choose maximum if you want to show more ads and if your blog is new i would recommend keep it uh, middle because your blog is new so customer want to uh, engage first with your blog before and later on uh, once your blog a little popular you can uh, increase the pay ad load at okay don't forget to let optimize your existing ad unit i will show you now what that mean let me apply this to my website and this is this is that's all and auto ads will start displaying on your website even you did not set any uh, ad manually you um, you uh, your ads will be uh, now shown by google depends on your theme it depends on you where you have uh, allowed the ads we just uh, uh, show you and uh, the banner ad somewhere here and uh, some ads will show like this that mu multiplex ad i just explain this is called multiplex and uh, i and uh, you, i i want to share with you that uh, i did not uh, uh, display this ad google already um, did uh, find out the space somewhere here and google set auto ads we because we have enabled auto ads in our ad section okay that's why google find the space itself and start displaying the ad you can see here add two time and it this is call i want to uh, exclude that area because i don't want to many show many ad in same area uh, one ad already and similar ad you will see again so this uh, this section you can exclude in the exclude section i just explained you okay 
This is how it is easy to enable auto ads on your blog. I would always recommend auto ads because this will really helpful for your theme uh, because Google will auto find the space because if you are not able to uh, or you are a beginner, you don't know how to enable ads after um, uh, AdSense approval where if you are using blogger and uh, in the blogger theme, you also have a section you can add a visit and uh, click AdSense. This is manual process. I will recommend if you are a beginner, you just a simple go to add section and click edit and enable that auto add section that will really helpful for you so i hope you like this video in next video i will bring another uh, nice topic for you so i request please like share and subscribe my videos and my channel thank you so much